Greetings, greetings, and salutations, beautiful people in the beautiful world. It is me, he is I, and I am him. Zach Latimer, Z Lat, Coach Lat, and welcome back to another segment of Right and Exact. Shots out to a new nation and a shot out to you. You could be doing anything in the world right now, but you are here with me, and I do appreciate that. Today, what I want to talk about and build on is simps. Simps are running rampant, they're taking over, and it's time to start to spot them out so that either you can eradicate the simpish ways that you have in yourself, or you can tell a friend to tell a friend to stop simping, or simply just get knocked for your gal, all right? So, a couple of signs and symptoms of simping. Well, the first sign is you can't make a decision. Simps always deflect and defer. The easiest way to spot a simp out is when they're with their gal and they can't make a decision on simply going out to eat. They always deflect on, well, maybe we should eat Chinese or maybe pizza. And you go back and forth for 45 minutes to an hour and nothing actually gets done. A good movie to check out is Boomerang, old movie where this guy Gerard goes in and he's trying to make a decision on where they should go eat, but he doesn't step up to the plate. And what ends up happening is he ends up getting knocked for his woman, which actually should happen to you if you have this problem. So you better step up and start to make a decision or lose your lady because you really don't deserve one at this point. Second sign of a simp, simps need to be led, all right? So even if you're ever out and moving and grooving in the world and you start to see guys sitting in the passenger side where their woman is driving them around like they're a little six-year-old schoolgirl getting dropped off at gymnastics class and going to get picked up in an hour, getting led because you don't have the, the, the mental fortitude to actually take the keys and start to drive your lady around to show that you have the capabilities of being a, a, a leader, you probably should get knocked for your woman. You can go to the gas station and see them too, just sitting in the passenger side, scrolling on their phone, doing God knows what, while the woman is moving and grooving. Get your butt over there and start to, uh, start to take care of business. Leaders don't get led. And you might say something that's so simple, man. I got my girl to drive me around. Yeah, you showing, you, your, your panties are showing. So you better get out and figure it out, all right? Step three, simps are problem reporters. They're not problem solvers. I'm going to say this again. Simps are problem reporters and not problem solvers. So you see a lot of simps start to report a lot of problems and they go to their mama or they go to any other woman who's willing to listen and report a problem. What ends up happening now is that woman starts to get mad at another woman. And I've seen this a lot of times is the mom, the, the simps mom starts to get mad at the simps um, significant other. They start beefing because why? The simp doesn't know how to make a decision again and won't step up and just say, this is what needs to be done. You just report problems to whoever wants to listen and then all of a sudden you've got a whole nother problem on because you, my friend, start to simp. Make the decision, stand up and say, this is what it is, all right? Because then you start to make a whole bunch of decisions. If anybody's going to take the hit, it's going to be you and you'll be fine. Stop acting from a deficit model and start acting like you, uh, you're fulfilled. Step four. Got the, you got to have the balls to say what needs to be said, the cojones to say what needs to be said, and don't, don't be afraid to lose what is going on around you. The biggest simp of them all was that guy in the Bible named Adam. You can always go and take a look if you need to be reminded of the story of how he just sat there and hid and then all of a sudden started reporting problems saying, well, I didn't. That's the woman you gave me. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Instead of standing up and saying, hey, man, we ain't doing that. Don't bring that over here. And if she was going to start tripping or saying something that was on her mind, then he can just go ahead and say, hey, well, it is what it is. You can either get out of here and I'll get me another one or you're going to get down with the program. But you don't stand there and not say nothing because you're afraid that she's going to open her mouth and, and say something back to you. All right. Or even at the same time, you don't get you have the balls to say you're practicing plurality. If you're having multiple women, then those women should know about each other. You simps go around trying to sneak behind other people's back because you're afraid of your woman again. Step up and say what needs to be said. And either she'll get down with the program or she won't. But stop acting from a deficit model like you ain't going to get one. Me and my girl, you know what? Well, we've been together for eight years. Let me tell you something about impermanence, all right? Nothing is for certain. Nothing is forever. Not even your little corny ass relationship that you in. So stop acting from a deficit model. Step up and say what needs to be said. Now, with that being said, you need to be careful of the eggs that you fertilize because there's a saying that goes behind every great man, there is a great woman, but you best believe behind every man that fell, there is a woman that pushed him. If you start, start focusing on her breasts and thighs all the goddamn time and you don't sit down and you don't talk to her and you don't tell her your plan, yes, you do need to have a plan. And if you don't tell her your plan and that's all you want is to try to have sex with her and you fertilize some bad eggs, 
I'm telling you, a woman can tear down everything that you're trying to build. You tear down your house, home, every dreams and aspirations that you ever had, hold them children, ransom over your head, and make sure that she just kills everything that you have been working for up until this point. So you best to be careful, better be careful of what type of eggs you start to fertilize because then you're going to have to deal with that decision. And last but not least, simple one-on-one, you either A, better be working towards building a community or belong to a group that is working towards building a community. If you sit out there and you look out your window and you see these death troopers shooting down your children in the streets, if you see other people that's going around messing with your children and they can't even walk from point A to point B because now all of a sudden they got a whole bunch of issues in the community and you're doing absolutely nothing about it. You're doing absolutely nothing but sitting there and you see other communities where really they don't even need to need cars. They just walk from point A to point B because now they know they're protected within their community. They spend their own money in their community and if you're not building towards anything of that nature my friend your manhood now comes into question so now it's what are you going to do either you're going to step uh stay a simp for the rest of your life or you're going to eradicate some of these symptoms and you're going to step up and be a man and start building a civilization that either that you can look down and hand over something and be proud of something all right so these are just a few signs and symptoms that either a you need to eradicate out yourself or b tell a friend to tell a friend because it's now time for alpha men to stay Stand up. Stop being little punks running around and get done what needs to get done. All right. So if you want to chop it up with me a little further, you can always catch me on Instagram, Zach Latimer, Z A C H L A T I M E R, or I'll just catch you next time right here on Right and Exact. All right. Death to the Simps. One love. Peace.